Does your blog suffer from boring stock photo syndrome? Are you tired of low engagement from your content? Are you addicted to gifts and want to use them to help solidify your brand? Let's spice things up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom gifts pretty quickly and easily. The first step is to grab your content. Now there are three main ways you can do this pretty uh, easily. Images, a short video, or an existing video on YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. Let's walk through one. I'm gonna snap two images here. One's a sad face and one's an awesome face, like a before and after. And now I'm gonna do a quick video. Gif it to me, baby. It should be noted that there are a ton of tools that you can use to make GIFs. I'm actually gonna be using the Giphy GIF Maker because it's super easy and quick. So once you have your content, you're gonna to go to giphy.com. You're gonna create a free account and you are going to hit the Create button right here. It's worth noting that you also can do this from your mobile device. Giphy has their own iPhone app and they have most of the same features for actually creating your custom gifts. But just for the sake of this video, I sent them to my computer and I'm gonna do it on my desktop in the browser. Let's do the images first. I'm gonna drag them on here. The first step in this process is going to be setting like an image duration. You can also drag and drop the images to move them around or add more files from here. I'm gonna drop mine down and hit decorate. Now there's a lot of stuff here. You can enter a caption with GIFs and then drag it around. You can change the size and the way it looks. I like to do climactic right here. That tacks on the text to the end of the video. You can change the colors. You can also add stickers. You can add a filter to your images to put it in black and white or VHS or all sorts of crazy stuff. You can also draw. And once you're fairly happy with it, you hit continue to upload. You enter in some tags like DYEB or do you even blog? or GIFs or whatever you're actually talking about and then hit upload to Giphy. By the way, stick around. I'm gonna show you some more advanced tools for nitpicking the perfect GIF. And I'm also gonna show you how to use normal GIFs from Giphy and other places in your blog content. So it doesn't slow down page speed, so it looks right, so it doesn't have a weird like link underneath it like it sometimes does. I'm gonna show you all that stuff in just a second. Let's quickly breeze through the video one because it's mostly the same here. I'm gonna drag that all right, so the important part in video is that you nail down your timing. So I highly recommend trying to edit out the awkward parts where I'm like looking, you can see I'm like looking at the camera there. I wanna like start in here somewhere and I wanna make it a little shorter. You can tell it's not quite as snappy. You want it to be extremely snappy, short, quick, hit the points to make it actually funny. So here are a bunch of my friend Chelsea's gifts. She's just really good with the timing on these. Look how like snappy it is. You don't want a lot of lag time, you know what I mean? So let's go back to my thing here. That's okay, even like a little bit more snappy. I want it like super snappy. Okay, here we go. There we go, that's nice and snappy. I'm gonna go to the decorate here. I am gonna do gif it to me, baby. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go, this looks okay to me. Gif it to me, baby, right there. Continue to upload. I'm gonna enter my tags, DYAB. Do you even blog, gif it to me, baby. And then I'm gonna hit upload. And I can just navigate to my little profile to see all of these here. And obviously the last step in this process is to use your GIFs. So for your custom ones, it's actually a little different than if you were using the public GIFs. You're gonna click on one and go to media. This is what I suggest doing. There's a few different ways you can do it. Obviously you can just share with a link. There's a video, whatever. You can also do like an embed if you want to embed it on your blog this way. I personally don't suggest that. It looks a little weird. It doesn't uh, adapt to mobile quite as easy. I recommend going to media. And if you're putting it on blogs, I just get the small right here. And then you can actually see, you can just download it straight from here. There's no copying that link at all. I'm just gonna download it to my downloads folder, obviously. You could also do the bigger ones if you really wanted to, but those might be huge. Now, there's a few things here. Number one, I usually just embed it in WordPress just like an image. I'll just drag it in here just like an image and it should be fine. Now, important point, you don't wanna slow down your website. Of course, if you're getting that page speed optimization for SEO or for a good user experience, you wanna make sure these file sizes are nice and slim. So I actually recommend compress or die.com slash gif. You can actually see that link right there. I'll put a link in the description below this YouTube video. And all you gotta do is drag your gif up into here. 
you can see it's uploading right now and processing and give it just a second and it'll make it a smaller file size. All right, and we're done. You can see it uh, made it a little bit 20% smaller right there. You can download straight from here. By the way, you can also resize. I downloaded the smallest one from Giphy, so it didn't really matter. But if you had a bigger GIF, you could throw it in here, even make it smaller right here and then re-download the compressed file and then upload that one. Next up, I wanna talk about using everybody else's GIFs, not your custom ones, because there are some tricks to make it look great in your blog. So I have my best friend, Jen, right here. And let me just show you, if you did the embed option and you copy this iframe, you went over and you posted it as HTML in your blog post, this is what it looks like. Okay, well the GIF looks okay, but wait, what is this? When I'm like hovering over it, it's doing crazy stuff. And what if I wanted it to be left aligned, not center aligned? And it also adds in this right here, which I could probably delete, but it's still kind of annoying. It just doesn't look great. So what I would like to do is go over to media, just like we did with our custom ones, but we can't actually download it straight from here. Kind of frustrating, but we can grab this link. I'm going to go into a new tab and paste it and you'll see basically this. Now, this isn't that helpful. In fact, if you download it from here, save image as right click and download, it oftentimes doesn't work, but you can right click open image in new tab and you should get the version without this stuff on it right here. So if I go over there, there we go. Now, sometimes this URL right here, this is the media URL, it will say WebP on the end of it. I don't like WebPs. Sometimes it'll just be a GIF, by the way, and you can just right click download and then you're good to go. But either way, I'm gonna download this WebP. I'm gonna save image as, I'm gonna download it to my downloads folder and go to a website called EasyGIF, easygif.com webp 2 gif Again, I'll provide a link in the description below this video. And basically this just converts it. So I will upload this WebP file right here and then click upload. It'll take just a second. There's my GIF I want. I'm gonna hit convert to GIF and it's gonna make me a much more better suited downloadable version right there. You just click save. Put it in my downloads folder right here. Now it's in the, the GIF format and I can go back to my blog post right here. I can add in an image and then just upload Jen. And now I can do captions, right, left, align, doesn't matter. And I'll come back over here, see what that looks like. And much better. You can see I'm hovering my mouse over it and it's just a normal thing, not this crazy Giphy link. So are you a comedic genius who needs a little bit more control over the timing of your GIFs just to make it that much more punchy? I have one more website for you here, GIF in text.com and what you can do here is you can actually upload straight from your computer again or if you already have some you know giphy things hosted elsewhere like this one i could just grab this url right here let's go with a medium-sized social one here i'll copy my link come over here paste it in there and it's actually going to allow me to do a lot more like add multiple layers of text with different timing they have like a timeline down here you could drag around you can also add images to be on top and you know move that around change the length right here it's pretty intuitive to use i'm not going to walk you through every single little thing you can also drag around here drag this you can add multiple stuff you could crop the gif resize you could do a lot more advanced stuff and it's completely free to use so that's gif in text.com link in the description below so i want to leave you with two really good ideas to get you started like pete what gifts do i even create how's this going to be useful for engagement on my blog i have two ideas for you the first one really easy copy the gifts that people are already using but just inserting yourself you can go to giphy just look at the trending gifts and you can see what this is obviously trending stuff that people are doing there's lots of uh well there's a crazy time in our country right now so there's lots of crazy gifts up here but like i got your back motivated thumbs down some little zen action right here you can honestly just recreate these gifts yourself right here no need for anything super fancy just do the calm or the thumbs down and that's immediately going to be more interesting to your audience because they're looking at you as the brand influencer than any of the generic GIFs. I don't know who any of these people are on Giphy, but if I'm following someone and I see them doing that, it's just instantly more interesting and engaging and funny and brandable. So copy what other people are doing, just do it yourself. The second idea I have for you is something called a pattern interrupt. Even not pattern interrupt, just think about it like this. Short, catchy phrases that keep your audience's eyes glued to your content. As a guinea pig example, let me go through one of my posts I just wrote. So I'm going through this intro here. Oh, look at this right here. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
that would be the absolute perfect gift. I would record that being like, or something like that. Something crazy, something a little funny. And then I would stick that in there. Let's see if I can find like another one, like a little bit more pattern interrupty. Okay, so I see this right here, these exclamation marks. Why did I have those? That's generally something that catches people's eye a little bit and then they have to go back and read because they were skimming. Uh, Alphonic does wizarding stuff. It spits back your vowel sound sounding better. Oh, so what I might do here is like, no, comma, seriously. Like, no, seriously. I might do that gif right there. No, seriously. And then put that in there. And then people would see that. I would put that text on there. No, seriously. And that would cause people's eyes to be obviously drawn to it. And then they have to go back and like, look at my point. One other really good one would be this right here. I might do this. And you know what I would say? I would put the text over it that would say something like, reread that sentence. I love doing that in my content. I would put that over this, like reread that sentence. That would catch people who are skimming your content. Their eyes would be drawn into the GIF and then they would go back and see what you want them to see. Something really valuable, something really helpful. People appreciate that. Skimmers appreciate that. They're going through your blog post. They're not necessarily reading every word. They'll see that GIF. And if you're saying like, that's important, reread that sentence or something like that. They'll actually go back and read it and get value from your content. So I hope this got your creative juices flowing. I wanna see your custom gifts. Drop me a comment below with a good idea for a GIF. I would love you to contribute to this video in some way. Drop me a comment in the comment section with a cool GIF idea. And if you'll enjoy this, please consider subscribing Blog Tribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Adios.